Well, hello there, my name is Vladimir. Welcome to my studio. This is a non playing, non intro song video. Uh, this is more like, hey, we have this really cool thing. Uh, let's just sit down and chat about it. I have some coffee. I, I mean, Unfortunately, a lot of people have like this coffee with Ola and or Ola as Swedish probably would pronounce it and Henning seems to have beverages with him all the time. So I don't know, let's call this hot liquid with Vlad from now on. That will be the series, I think, maybe. Anyway, what I want to talk about today is, I want to say the best power supply you can get right now and that is DC seven by chucks that's how you apparently pronounce it Pins would call it kiox but apparently that's how you pronounce it so chucks before we dive into the kind of power supply itself i just want to kind of say that i've been a chucks user for many many years i think i built my first pedal board in 2009 or so uh, 2009 2010 somewhere in that range and mostly I was using Chox power supplies because of the price, build quality and especially the kind of outputs they provided. There was a point in time where Chox had the only power supply that could fit underneath the Pedal Train Nano. Even Pedal Train didn't have their own power supply thing that they have nowadays. And I built a really versatile and fun and cute little pedal board. I think I have a photo of that so yeah that's what I built and it was powered by chucks and I think I've had the Adam Link one I think that was the one that fit underneath the pedal train nano as well I've had that at, I think twice actually because I was kind of uh, getting new pedals I needed a bigger power supply smaller power supply and stuff like that so I ended up kind of buying and selling several power supplies I've had the Adam Link I've had this schizophrenic I think it's called DC5 I think and probably something else that I'm also forgetting most of my power supplies have been Chuck's power supplies and uh, I've never had issues with the power supplies themselves it's just I've been crazy trading so 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 many pedals and rebuilding constantly pedal board wise and just none of the power supplies could keep up with that or just so loud out of the need to downscale or upscale again <laughs> yeah i think if you've seen my amp history or guitar history videos i'll put links below in the description uh you might know that i was trading the gear a lot just a lot a lot a lot and pedals were no kind of exception to that. That was Amps pedals a lot. And yeah, so long story short, when I got an email asking, hey, you wanna demo the Chox DC7? This is maybe the best thing on the market. Uh, it took me 0.1 second to say yes. I think I replied to that email within a minute or so because I really like the products and the DC7 is no exception. Apparently there's been some development in the power supply technology. Uh, I do not claim to be any sort of expert in anything like that. Uh, I'll put a link below in the description to Henning's interview with Paul Chock, not Chocks, but Chock, uh, who is the main guy of the company and he explains what these developments are. For us, practically what it means is that for example, in the DC7, we can have seven isolated individual outputs and all of those are, first of all, if they output 9 volts DC, they are all 660 milliamps, which can power pretty much any, any pedal you might want to use, except maybe like a helix stomp or something but apparently even for that there's a workaround i'll come back to that a bit later as well seven isolated individual outputs and all of them are configurable to be either 9 12 15 which i haven't seen on other power supplies and 18 volts dc that is just really really cool uh, it immediately makes it one of the most versatile and powerful power supplies out there. Plus, and I hope the autofocus on my camera will work, this thing is slim. Here's a pick, a cat pick for comparison. I hope it will focus. 
you're using a black background with a black power supply but i think you might still be able to see something so yeah this is my index finger that is how thick this thing is so it's like well actually just a second this is my previous power supply which is one spot pro i think that does it have like such some sort of coat maybe it has but i have velcro on it right now let's put them like this So the DC7 is literally half the thickness of the one spot and the reason I've been using the one spot was that it's just it's powerful and it has pretty good outputs like two times I'm sorry four times 200 milliamps 9 or 12 volts and two 500 milliamps 9 volt outputs so pretty versatile also has an, one a single 18 volt output uh, I haven't had pedals that use that lately, but it's been great, great, but I've had a lot of trouble fitting this under kind of regular pedal board. I had the T-Rex something something, this kind of two-step pedal board, which as a pedal board I liked, but fitting this underneath was a big issue. Basically, this is a good power supply, it's just very, very big. To select what each output puts out, you just basically use this mini toggle switches, there's a nice chart how to kind of configure all of them uh, so that's simple enough uh, well there's an indicator that it's on which is cool and all of these individual outputs have this kind of say overload indicator so uh, when this for example right now is outputting 660 milliamps 9 volts if i would kind of overpower that, that output this light will start to dim and when it's kind of completely overloaded it will just kind of turn itself off go dark dim out one of those things all of those things something like that and not only that but there's also a kind of total load indicator so at 40 percent it lights green 70 percent it's a yellow light and at 90 percent of the total capacity of this unit it will go red so basically it will tell you when it's about to well not overload but when it's going to run out of power it can provide uh, per output and overall as well so that's really cool so no matter what kind of complicated setup you're building this will basically kind of tell you whether everything is properly powered or not so i think that's incredibly incredibly useful jumping to the other side four more outputs and a usb out and that's really cool because on many pedal boards you might have some uh, phones, tablets, anything like that. Now you can power those with the DC7, which is amazing. And there's also this kind of through connection. Uh, I'm not sure how to call it, but basically you can extend this to other power supplies that also have this connection thingy. So basically one power cable goes in here to this side and you can just kind of daisy chain a second power supply i think chocks already has or they are about to release a few other power supplies that can kind of extend this as well and that is really cool because like no matter how big setup you're building uh, you basically can power everything with just one power cable and then the kind of daisy chained power supplies will handle all of that really really impressive it's also very lightweight and feels incredibly sturdy uh all the chucks power supplies have had they just like it's very difficult to damage them and yeah this being like twice as small as the previous ones i'm just really really impressed so just to help you to kind of understand how cool this power supply is this is the boss dd 500 the delay uh, you can power this, this is uh, 9 volts, but I think it's like 500 milliamps or so. Recommend that it can power this. This is the 2 note Torpedo Cab M, and this needs, let's put it on this camera, 12 volts DC 200 milliamps. It can power that. This is the 2 note Select Clean 2 preamp, and as you can see, this thing is powered by 12 volts DC. 500 milliamps and this is where a lot of power supplies might run into trouble just not enough power to power this one it does come with its own power supply but if you're building a pedal board that you want to be compact and fun to carry around it's kind of easy to use you don't want to have several kind of power outlet thingies you need to plug in 
to have your pedal board working. This is the first power supply I've seen that can actually do this. So 12 volts, 500 milliamps. Those are just some of the examples that this kind of power supply allows you to do. As I've shown in this video, the Chox DC7 clocks at 249 euros at the moment, but prices vary depending on where you, where you live, so check out your pricing by following the link below in the description. And this price makes it 25 euros cheaper than the Strymon Zuma. The Strymon Zuma does have one more output, but at least based on the photos, it's not nearly as slick as this one. I think this might be able to fit underneath the pedal tray nano if needed as well. So that's just incredibly impressive. Just to think where the power supplies have come since I was building my first pedal boards. Comes with a bunch of all kinds of daisy chain cables, split cables, negative voltage cables, all of that. They also have a bunch of different kind of these split cables, extensions cables available. Apparently you can get this one special cable that I'm completely forgetting right now. Uh, it's either out or it's coming out very soon, uh, which allows you to power the Helix Stomp as well. You would, I think, unless I understand something incorrectly, you would basically use two outputs and kind of combine those into the Helix Stomp and that would allow you to power that thing as well. So yeah. Just a super compact, nice looking and incredibly high quality feeling solution for any kind of pedal board you want to build. And if you want to get your Chox DC7, please follow the link below in the description. If you like this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, let me know what you think. If you want to support what I do, get yourself a Catfix Studios t-shirt, links below in the description. And if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell as well. Thanks for watching this video. I shall see you next time.